Right, hello, and, oh, hang on, first up, there's been a number of thefts in the area. Apparently, people are going around stealing gates. Can you believe that? Anyway, the police are keeping it on under wraps because they're worried that people might take offence. Anyway, hello, and welcome to, uh, uh, what is this, August, the August unboxing, August of 2020 unboxing, the COVID-19 special. Not really, it's just that we are in a... In, middle of a pandemic I can't even say the word we're in the middle of a pandemic at the moment and therefore we are staying in more than often more often than not and so I thought I'd bung in an impromptu unboxing just to sort of mix it up a little bit I haven't done one for like a month so anyway I've got uh, a few packages here let's see the first one here nice little compact package it's got I'm happy with that written on it which is a nice touch. And it's from Chris Sheets from Decatur in Georgia of the USA. So let's have a look and see what Chris has sent me. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, okay. These look like maybe they are individually wrapped. Let's just bang them out here. Oh, hopefully they don't break. Uh, oh, hang on. I think there might be a letter in here. There might be. Is there a letter? There's something there. There we go. Oh, there's another car. Or another mod. Could be a truck. Wow, this is a... <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> God, they're tight. There we go. Right. Now, let's have a look. Uh, dear Marty, I'm a big fan of your videos. Here's some stuff. Short enough for you? Sure is. Thanks, Chris. Keep it short and sweet. Let's have a look here. What have we got? What's Chris sent us? Today. Oh, okay. What's this? This looks like a skip truck. Without the skip. It's super fast. It, it uh, definitely is a matchbox. It's made in England. 1978, it says on the bottom there. Well, there's obviously something missing off the back of that. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that. It, it, other than that, it looks in really, really good condition. So I guess this thing here, whatever it was, was detachable and became detached. <laughs> Which would make perfect sense because it's detachable. Okay, let's have a look now. We've still got some more here. Interesting little packages. Uh, oh dear. So I've got a new knife, by the way. What is it? It's a Scotch brand. Um, I was going to save it for, uh, you know, intricate work. But I thought I'd just grab it and do the unboxing with it. And probably end up blunting it and having to go and buy another one. All right. This is a fire tender and it looks in good order. It has a ladder on it. It's a matchbox. Um, the Blaze Buster. I like that. It's a good, good name for a fire engine, isn't it? Uh, is there two parts to this ladder? I'm not sure. It looks like there is, but it isn't. It's a one part ladder. Uh, super fast, but I don't know. It doesn't look quite right to me. What do you think? Sort of a, a unusual. The wheels look like they're too small for the body. Anyway, moving on. Uh, by the way, I haven't seen either of those two before. Ah, oh, yes, this is an old classic. One of the matchbox uh, that I've done up in the past. It's the uh, fire pumper truck number 29. As per normal, the pipes and ladders... Well, actually, the pipes are there, but the ladders are missing. Uh, overall, I've seen them in a lot worse condition than this. So that is definitely salvageable. So that's a nice one, original 1 to 75 scale there. Uh, I shouldn't say scale because it's not scale. It's uh, 1 68th scale, I think. Ah, oh, the old Cadillac ambulance. Now, somebody has been telling me, I did one of these. A few people have mentioned, maybe I should do a Ghostbusters special. Well, you know what? I haven't had one of these for quite a while. And I have been thinking about it. And who knows, this could be... The start of something big. There's a clue. I can see that featuring in a future video. Three more left. A lot of tissue here. 
which is good because we've all got, we've all got runny noses for some reason. Don't understand why. But we're sniffling and coughing everywhere. All right, what is this? Well, this looks like brand new. It's a Hot Wheels Corvette Stingray, made in Hong Kong. Um, gee, they're well made, aren't they? I've never really paid much attention to Hot Wheels, but look at the quality of that base. It, the casting is supreme. Very, very crisp lettering in that underneath. The decals are nice, and it's a nice colour, and it's got a blue, clear blue plastic interior, which looks kind of cool. I can, I'm kind of starting to warm to these. Like, I never really liked the Hot Wheels much. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't have Hot Wheels, so I had a Corgi Rockets, the one with the cable car between the two mountains. Um, if you haven't seen it, see if you can find it on, on Google. Um, so I, I kind of went from Matchbox to Corgi Rockets. I never actually had much experience of the Hot Wheels. That's probably why I am like I am. And I'm trying to steer away from the super fast and the Hot Wheels type vehicles. Now this one here um, is a very ugly model. I've got one other one of these. And at the time, I said, when I unboxed it, it looks very ugly. Um, because it's unrealistic. Look at the steering wheel. It's kind of like the yoke on a jumbo jet. Um, it's got a luxury seat. I'm not too sure what this represents. And these wheels are just huge, big, plastic drums that they've stuck on there to represent steamroller, I guess. But is this based on a real vehicle? I doubt it. Um, an interesting vehicle nonetheless and as I say it's the second one of those that I've got oh here we go last one today from Chris Chris Sheets from Georgia oh yes nice I haven't done one of these and this is the original wheels I love it it's a number it says underneath now yeah, this is weird I'm gonna have to look into this it says underneath Number 55 or number 73. So they must have used the base for two different vehicles. So I'll have to look into that. But yeah, obviously this needs a new blue light. It's got a figure there inside of a, a police officer with a peaked cap on. Uh, oh, actually, no, they're two up. There's two of them in there. So that's the first. I've never, never, I don't actually think I've got one of these. I'm going to be definitely be adding that to my collection. So thank you, Chris. A fantastic little mix there, and uh, very welcome indeed. Okay, so that was number one from Chris Sheets of uh, Georgia. Now moving on quickly, number two, Grenville Nash from Shiloh in Illinois. A lot of these subscribers um, and contributors come from the USA, which is... Fantastic, so thank you very much to all my American fans out there. You really are keeping me afloat. Oh dear, <laughs> I've done the old cut the, cut the letter routine. But luckily I've missed the, the main text so I can read it. How's it, Marty? I love the channel and it's become part of my weekly viewing schedule. I ordered the enclosed books. Oh God, I hope I haven't got them. I haven't. Uh, for reference material for a book I'm working on. I couldn't think of someone who should have these more than you. Hope you enjoy them. Also included are a few postcards from St. Louis. Ah! Hang on, Grenville Nash. Oh, it says on the thing, Illinois. I-L. Isn't that, is that Illinois? Or is that St. Louis? Anyway, it's from the Missouri. Uh, all the best, Grenville Nash. I am originally from Botswana. Oh, so does that mean I get two pins? Hmm, let me think about it. No. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look and see what uh, Grenville has sent us. Okay, some St. Louis postcards to begin with. Um, all right, St. Louis, the Bush Stadium. That's all right, interesting. Uh, what's this one here? Ah, oh, Route 66. Okay, I'm familiar. I've heard of that. Who hasn't? One day I'll, I might drive along it. Who knows? If this, uh, if we can have free travel around the world again. Oh, okay, these are some nice catalogues here from, uh, well, we've got 1969, uh, 1970, and 1980. 
Okay. Oh, there's another postcard here. What's this one? Oh, it's a big arch. Wow. When I say big arch, I mean big arch. Have a look at that. It's 630 foot. has become a symbol for the city. Built on the banks of the Mississippi River since it was completed on October 28th. 28th 1965 the gateway arch frames historic old courthouse look at that that's an impressive structure one day i might get to see that in real life who knows and there's another little gizmo here what is this i think it might be a magnet it's saint louis missouri let's have a look is it is it magnetic it is it is magnetic so i should be sticking that on my fridge and I shall be thinking of Grenville Nash from Missouri whenever I go to the fridge and get a bottle of milk out. <laughs> so thank you for that. That's awesome. I'm going to sit up in bed tonight and have a cup of cocoa and have a look through some of these catalogues because they are indeed a part of history, Matchbox history. Oh, I've got one of those. Oh, I've got one of those. <laughs> oh, that's going to be great. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Grenville. Okay, package number three. Uh, there you go. I've written three on it. <laughs> Is uh, from China, believe it or not. A bit of a random package. It came from Tongsheng in Shanghai. Okay. Ah, inside this box is three little boxes. Uh, let's have a look at these. Oh, and a nice little velvet pouch. The box has got G T H I C, like Gothic without the O on it. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, wow. These are random. These are from. Uh, Tong Sheng in Shanghai. Have a look at that. It's a. It looks like a, a human with a mask on that represents a, a skull and sort of tribal art. So that's something interesting. It's a, definitely a ring, size ten. I wonder if it will fit my finger. Hang on a sec. So which finger would it go on that one? Well, I'm not. I don't re wear jewelry. Oh, <laughs> ah. Oh shit. Oh, I was worried then that it was stuck on there. Okay, well, uh, different. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, I like this one. This kind of looks like a Scottish themed ring. Zoom in on that. Unusual. It's got all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, can't quite work out what it means. Let's try it on without it. I'll put it on my little finger because I don't want to get stuck. Oh, actually, that's me. I like that. Do you reckon that's me? No? I could wear that. Down to the shops and that, and people will think I'm cool. Uh, let's have a look at this other one here. Oh, this is a different colour. These two are silver. This one's goldy colour, and it's just basically like a dead human. A dead human's head that's been skinned. It's quite an attractive piece of jewellery. <laughs> Um, maybe if I was in a motorcycle outlaw motorcycle gang, like the Hells Angels or something, I might wear that. But actually, it, it I don't think it sits. Look, what is? Does it? Does it suit me? Am I? Do I? You know. You know. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, uh, Tong Sheng from Shanghai in China, for sending me this selection of rings. I guess if you like this kind of uh, jewellery, you should maybe look them up on eBay or, I don't know, the Google, the Google machine, and uh, order some. I mean, they're quite weighty. Uh, um, as I say, I don't really wear any jewellery. Look, nothing, no earrings, no, no nose rings, no nothing through my tongue. Uh, but hey, so yeah, there you go. Interesting. Something random there. Very random. Size 10. Obviously, it's not years. 10 years. No. Have to be millimeters. 
Oh, what would it be? It couldn't be. It wouldn't be millimetres, wouldn't be centimetres. Size 10. I don't know. Uh, um, nice pouch, by the way. All right, number four, rushing forwards, is from Peter Den Bigelaar from Murgestel in the Netherlands. So thank you, Peter. It's a collection of 10 cars. Let's have a look. Wow, it's uh, well packaged. Oh, look at this. Whoa. 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 <laughs> it took a while. Got there in the end. They're all individually packaged. Uh, extra, extra packaging. There's a letter. Greetings from the Netherlands. Well, greetings to you, uh, Peter, from Australia. I like your channel a lot. Please keep up the good work. I've included a few Matchbox models that I played with as a kid. I still have more, but they have a super fast wheels. And I know you're more interested in the older models. Hang on a sec. <gasps> oh. uh, some you already have multiples of, but maybe they are useful for spare parts. <gasps> They were just sitting in a box in the attic, so I thought they deserved a better home. I collect one 18th scale model cars, so they don't quite fit in my collection. Best regards, Peter Den Bigelaar from Murgestel, the Netherlands, near Tilburg. Okay, well I'll put the pins on the map later, I shall look that up, and uh, I shall work out exactly where you come from. Now, quickly, I'll just... Ooh, wow. I've unboxed them all and uh, that was hectic. Uh, uh, sorry, let's have a look at them. Well, first up, what takes my eye? There's a few things here. Uh, these models here are in near unplayed with um, uh, condition. This one here, in particular, I don't think I've got one of these. It's Cessna 40. Two uh, matchbox, what do they call these again? Um, Sky Kings or something. What is that? What they call them? Oh no, I've got a mental uh, uh, sorry, mental block there. <laughs> it's a beautiful little model and uh, it's in near perfect condition, so I won't be doing anything with that. I should just be putting that in my aircraft collection. Because it's a great little thing, and uh, there's nothing really wrong with it at all. It's uh, it's it's a really nice little model. Not only that, there's another one here. Now, whether or not that should have a cockpit in there, a canopy, I'm not sure. I'm I'm guessing yes. But this is the uh, Skybusters. Uh, that's what they were. I, I just came back to me. Skybusters. Uh, it says S2 Jet. But to me, it looks like a, a buccaneer that used to land on HMAS Ark Royal, which was a British aircraft carrier. And that's why it had folding wings, so they could like store it below decks when the weather got rough. And uh, they could fit more in. Uh, quite ingenious piece of design, really, for the real thing. So I like those two uh, more than you can imagine. They are beautiful little things. Now this one here, this is the second one of these rather jazzy bulldozers that I've had. Um, ordinarily not my thing, but I do like it because it's in near new condition. I can't see what number it is. It says something like, what does it say? Uh, it's very difficult to see. Uh, gull, something gull. Uh, so I don't know. Anyway, it looks like it's a, maybe a custom uh, bulldozer. Is it based on a real model? Not sure. It's got copper engines on it. That's something I know. Um, SRN6 hovercraft without fans. I'm not too sure where I could get fans from from that or how I could mean remanufacture them. Something very different and unusual for Matchbox to produce a model hovercraft. This one here is a yesteryear and it's seen better years. It's basically complete except the seat has got some minor damage to it, which is interesting it is one of a kind i don't have one of these and i think it would be good 
to repair that seat somehow, maybe with some epoxy, and put this thing back out there again as new. So that will probably definitely be, probably definitely be a project. Now this crane here, who hasn't had one of those? Once again, the, the hook has been chewed. <laughs> Kids love chewing those hooks. As you know, I've done a few of those. I might have to do another batch. We've got the pipe truck here. This is the Ergomatic, I think they call it. Yeah, series. Uh, it's a pipe truck. Um, I can't remember what number it is. The Ergomatic cab. I can't read what it says. But yeah, there we go. Uh, pipe's missing, as is standard with that model. I do have a 3D uh, printable um, file there, so I can redo that one. This one here is one I haven't got, and this one's in pretty good condition. That The windscreen is awesome. Uh, let's have a look. It's the GMC Tipper Truck. I don't actually think I've got one of these. Do you know what? That's going in my collection. I'm going to spruce that one up and add it to my collection because it's one I haven't got. Uh, these two here are somewhat interesting. They're the same model, same casting different colors and one's got super fast wheels and one's got standard wheels now I've done this one before it's got the dog in the back see he's looking out the window there this one's too so they've duplicated the model they've just upgraded it to super fast to compete with the hot wheels that's the story there and they've given it this jazzy metallic blue paint to try and bring it up to scratch I do like that model both hooks are broken off with a bit of a bit of a shame common common with these models oh and this one here has got the rear bumper missing oh my god how has that happened is there something missing that's weird i don't remember that it looks like there's something missing off of that very unusual that it is have a look at that if you know what's happened there let me know uh last three here from from peter in the netherlands nice little motorbike it's the it's um, a four-cylinder. Nice motorbike, though. I do like that. In my day, as a youth, I would have loved to have that. Great little model. I think I might have one of those over here in my motorbike selection. No, I haven't. Uh, uh, I, uh, I'm not too sure. That might be another one to go in my motorcycle collection. I won't be doing anything with that other than displaying it. Uh, the yellow uh, standard hay trailer. That's a first. Haven't seen that before, but what a boring model. Imagine getting that on your birthday. Here you go, son. I bought you a hay trailer. You know, <laughs> you'd have to be gutted, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, oh, thanks, Mum. Mm, mm, now I need some hay. You know. Uh, um, other than that, probably a good accessory if you've got the tractors to go with it. And uh, what is this? This isn't the same as that, is it? No, it's different, but uh, similar size. Same tracks, but different design. I don't think I've seen one of these before either. That's an uh, interesting model. It's a bulldozer, obviously, and should look good if I did that up. I don't know if that's original or super fast or what era that is from, so I'm going to have to do some more research on these. And uh, a great selection, though. I love it. Aircraft, hovercrafts, yesteryear, motorbikes, bulldozers. It's got a lot. So thank you very much, Peter, from... Morgestel in the Netherlands. Awesome set. Okay, people, just hang in there. There's two more to go, and then we we'll, shall put the pins in the map. This one here, what is it? It's from Richard Irich from Winterhaven in Florida. And it says it's a book. So I'm curious to see what book it is. Wow. Oh. Oh. No, there's no letter in there. Oh! Oh, Barry Sheen! This is great. The story of motorcycling legend Barry Sheen. Do you remember him? He broke every bone in his body, I think. A bit like Evil Knievel. Oh, he's a British classic. That's awesome. I will definitely be reading that. The cheeky Cockney boy who grew up to become a sporting legend. He won the British Motorcycling 125 Championship 
aged at 20. Can you believe that? And twice became world champion in the 500cc class. Oh, wow. That's going to be for, make for an interesting read. Uh, I can't, can't believe that bloke. Uh, he's just unbelievable. Uh, is he still alive? Must look into that. That's, a, that's kind of brought back memories of yesteryear. There he is, look, in the wheelchair. Still smiling. <laughs> I suppose it goes with the job. A bit like a stuntman, really. Well, thank you very much, Richard. I shall definitely enjoy reading that and finding out more about the legendary Barry Sheen. Right, last up today from Martha uh, Katzer from Germantown in Maryland. Um, now, note to self, uh, I don't know what, which company you used, Martha, but they definitely weren't too um, careful with your the, with the parcel. Look at it, it looks like they've crushed it. Anyway, I shall. I don't even have to open it. I can just reach in and grab stuff out from this wrecked, wrecked side. Yeah, I got a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, there's some. Oh, some models in blister packs. Yeah, very nice. Uh, there's another one. Oh wow, is there a letter? There is. There's a letter. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was Martha. It's Joe. Joe Cutzer from Germantown, Maryland. Is that what I said? Yes, it is. Uh, north of Washington. Let's have a look. Hi, Marty. Thanks for all of your videos and hard work. It's obvious that you enjoy what you do and have fun with it, and that makes it all the more enjoyable. Even my wife likes to watch your Matchbox makeovers. I'm happy with that. Enclosed are a few things that need a new home. It's okay with me if they stay with you or if you find someone else to take care of them. I could not believe my eyes when I went to find these things to send you. And I realised that included in the Matchbox eraser set is a Koala pencil eraser top as a bonus. I hope that Kevin enjoys it. Thanks again, Joe Cutzer. Well, let's have a look. I don't, I don't quite know what you're talking about there, but we shall get round to it. Well, these are, as new, in the box, um, Skybusters models. Look at that. That's the F4 Phantom. And uh, when I was an air cadet, I went to RF Coningsby in Lincolnshire. And got up close and personal with the Phantom. Uh, short little story here. One of the flight line mechanics that I was working with. Um, he kicked me in the coccyx with a steel toe cap boot. And I, I was only like 12 years old. And it was because I walked under the arrestor hook. So I never walked under an arrestor hook ever again after that incident. <laughs> Mind you, be done for workplace bullying now. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, this is as new in the box blister pack of What is this? It's a MIG. What is it? It's number three. It's the MIG 21. Oh, I think that's the Fox Bat. Is that the Fox Bat? Can't remember. Remember the NATO designations for the aircraft? If they started with F, it was a fighter. If they started with B, like a bison, it was a bomber. So uh, that's obviously a fighter, and I think it's the Fox Bat, MIG 21. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and we have two other things here. Again, as new in the box. Oh, there's a second Fox Bat MiG-21. Well, that's something you don't see every day. I'll tell you what, that is extremely rare to have two of those, I reckon. As new in the box. And uh, just an awesome, awesome thing. And I would warn definitely not be taking those out of the blister packets, nor the Phantom. And uh, nor these either, which are matchbox erasers. They, they must... Why? <laughs> he, <laughs> I can see exactly what he's talking about. There's a Mercedes and a Fandango. But not only that, there's a Koala head. <laughs> which is pretty random, considering these were built in England. Or made in England. Or were they? I'm not sure. This one here says made in the USA, so that's crazy, isn't it? It's Matchbox. Anyway, well, very, very interesting, uh, not Martha, but Joe. Uh, Joe Kutzer from Germantown. Thank you very, very, very much. That has made my day. Those are so super special and unusual that uh, I've never seen anything like them before. I've got to say that, and it feels like Christmas. 
so that concludes today's unboxing. There's only one thing to do, and that is, as I'm sure you're aware, as you're all regular viewers, is put the pins in the map. Yeah, now the first pin today, it's a black pin, and it's for Diane Pastola. And who's that I hear you ask? Well, she featured in the live test of my new webcam. And I forgot to put her pin in, so I'm going to do that first. And she's from Colorado Springs. So let's put that in right now. There we are, Colorado Springs. Check that out. It's actually on the map. Must be a big place. Wonderful. Uh, second pin today, a white one, for Chris Sheets in Decatur in Georgia. And pretty much it's right next to Atlanta. So I can see Atlanta on there. So I'm going to put this, this in here right next to the, the other white pin there. And that's yours, uh, Chris. Okay, uh, third pin today. Grenville Nash from Shiloh in Illinois, which is just southwest of the Great Lakes, uh, near St. Louis. So I'll stick that in here. There we go. That's for you, Grenville. Okay, next up, a pink pin from uh for the for the rings remember the gothic rings from tong sheng in shanghai shanghai <laughs> shanghai uh it's the second one from that region of the world okay next up i've got this purple pin and it's for peter bigelar from the netherlands so i'm going to try and squeeze that in up here i know it's probably not in the exact spot but the map is so small that that's as good as i can get thank you peter Okay, Richard Irich from Winterhaven in Florida. This is your pin, it's orange. And I'm putting it right slap bang in the middle of here, between Colorado and St. Petersburg. Hopefully that's close. Right, last today is a red pin. And it's for Joe and Martha Kutzer from Germantown. And from my reckoning, it's just northwest of Washington. So I shall put that in here. I can't really see what I'm looking at. Um, is that close? Please tell me it is. There we go, Joe and Martha, that's yours. So once again, thank you everybody for uh, the packages. They're all welcome and I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. And there's some definitely some interesting things in there. And until next time, uh, this is Marty. Marty's Matchbox Maker of the scene. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.